Good morning. It is two in the morning. I see off in the distance there, train station and a Christmas tree at the Magic Kingdom, but we are not seeing that today. Um, heading over to the Ticket and Transportation Center for the monorail to be hopefully on the first monorail at 2.30 in the morning to head to the next run Disney race. This is what it's all about. The whole reason why we wanted to stay at Polynesian was the simplicity of this. For me, the simplicity of this for Sarah to be with the boys and come spectate and travel so easily. This little path over here pops up right at the TTC. Boom. First, already a little strange thing in the morning. I, I assume a lot of timing is going to be different today because of the storm. They're starting 15 minutes earlier. They cut six miles off. And um, I'm willing to bet they're going to do things like not do waves at the crowds. They're just going to start flowing people through. And that's already one weird thing. Is they already do they just let me through at security. Usually they don't let that start until actually at 2.30 when it starts. We'll see. Woo! All right, this is interesting. I think we're, cause we're past security and they haven't started letting people in yet which is gonna make them mad because we're party, we're past the security already. There you go. Oh, they're in a wave action. Let's go. There's an interesting vibe in the air today because of the changes. There's a big breeze. Look at, they already have the screen drops. They're all ready to go for this storm. The screen has dropped behind me. That, it's still there, but it's dropped. Ooh, it's gonna be exciting. Do you see the screen dropped over? Look what I found. Jamming. This is wild. It's, our, it's only 3.20 and there's already a significant amount of people in the corrals. Ooh, it is a little bit humid. Let's see if that helps. It's 4 a.m. over at the Polynesian and we're taking a simple little walk to the Ticket and Transportation Center. We were supposed to go to Magic Kingdom today to cheer, but that's all right. Instead, it's just as easy to hop on the monorail to Epcot. We're gonna meet up with ACS there to cheer like between mile four and like this water station. Right as I was walking up, a monorail pulled up. So it's perfect timing. So we're already on our way to Epcot. The race starts at 4.45 and so the elite runners will probably be making their way there like just after 5. So this way I'm not standing around too too long with the boys. Um, you know their little kids they're going to want to run around. I'm going to kind of have to see how the area is. Of course we going slow. We've got lots of snacks and that's how, that's how we do things over here. We have one awake child and one sleeping child which is what I thought would happen. James has always taken to the stroller for snoozing a bit more than Teddy. Or maybe just the transfers. He just like sleeps really solid. Rodriguez, Michael, well done. Well, big smile. Have fun. And let's do it in. Three, two, one. Go! All right, we're moving up. They're walking us right to the start. It's insane. So we are on this little 
path just by the monorail. Got our first runner this morning. Runners. Too. Gonna do our U turn here. Kind of a crazy sharp U turn, but I can see the Magic Kingdom parking lot. It's the closest we're getting to today. Hey, Robin Hood. Let's see you. Here we go, Herc and Magic. Yeah, Chippendale, Rescue Rangers. starting to get very windy. My hair is crazy. Um, but we are going to try and go see Peter at the finish line and kind of figure out what we're gonna do next. Monorail! Oh man. No photo pass or stop, but oh man. Woo! Heck yeah, big man. Welcome to the party, my man. Ooh, photo pass. You have to see this, this empty before. God bask. There's the Guardians building, you know what that means? Oh, nice. Mickey and Minnie, and I think their 50th outfits. I don't know, they look great though. Oh, look at that. We turn in the final stretch. A little more time. All right, here it is. Finished about 7.2, but I am gonna, we're gonna get a minivan once Carolyn finishes, she's just about to, to go to Boardwalk and finish the last six there, but there's so many people behind me by the entertainment over there that are doing a giant loop. It's so cool to see them do that. I almost wanna do that just to like start going, but we're still in a race against the storm. It's supposed to start raining here in like 30, 40 minutes, and then it's supposed to continue to rain until eight o'clock, and then it's gonna get really heavy. So we need to get to Boardwalk to get these last six miles started. Alrighty, it's starting to rain and the umbrella and we are so close to our room but we are soon we're soon we're soon to hang while daddy tries to finish his run. 7.20 in the morning and at Grand Floridian because the Polynesian doesn't have a gym but you're allowed to come to the Grand Floridian and use theirs so fingers crossed there's a treadmill ready because I will show you what it's like outside. So even though it's not that bad of a rain right now, it is just the beginning. They pulled the characters out of the finish line before we left Epcot, and it's supposed to get significantly worse, like severe storm for the next like hour and a half, and then rain for the next couple hours. So I would run outside, but there's not a great spot to do that right now. Um, the parking lot at Epcot could have worked until it got severe. But I, didn't, I wouldn't want to get stranded there. But like, I don't know. I also don't like loops. But here, I can run from Grand Floridian to the front of Magic Kingdom. But a lot of that is on like that board, on the walk board. So if it's raining, that'd be very slippery. And then if it's storming or lightning, that's not safe for any of it to be running in. So I want to get these six miles done today. But I also don't want it to impede too much time in our whole day. Because 
I can't run like tonight. I mean, I could, but like, I shouldn't run like tonight when I should be resting up for a marathon tomorrow. Um, and it, the rain's supposed to be done by like one or two, so I could do it then. Then it's like interrupting the middle of my family's day, so I don't know. Hoping that there's a treadmill open. I don't know how many there are in this gym, but we're gonna get the 48.6 miles done one way or another. I had to take a little breather to say, just a quick 5K left in the half marathon today. Get this done. Ooh. All right. I'm wearing it now. Got my 5.75 miles done. Now I gotta go to the main building and hop on the monorail to go back to the poly because the walk, walking path is closed. Look at this cute fountain. I need food and a shower, but I feel good, I feel accomplished. So it's definitely still raining. Enough to make it kind of uncomfortable to run. I probably could have run this, but there still is just like, the, the, the worst of it is, is should be here very soon. Um, but I'm glad I did it. We are back at the Polynesian. We did another visit with Evie and we got here. We had like some stuff that we didn't bring last night that we had like a running list for. So we were too busy getting that list together and we left our diaper bag at home. And so we were like, do we go back? Like, what's the move? Um, so I went and I checked out the gift shop and they had some pull-ups in the boy size. James and Teddy are in the same size right now. Um, and I filled up our cup. I think, I don't know if we mentioned, we got this reusable mug like a little bit ago because we knew we'd be like seeing Christmas decorations at the resorts, but we only got one. I truly don't think we mentioned that we have cut out caffeine at the moment, um, which is interesting. It was just like a lot. We were consuming a lot, so we decided to take a break and then like slowly get back into it eventually. But I think Peter mentioned decaf coffee earlier and I was like, shoot, I don't know if we've said that we're like two and a half weeks caffeine free. So we only got one um, cup just because like we're not consuming as much pop and like Peter doesn't love decaf coffee. But anyways, I filled this up and got some wipes and these pull-ups so that we can still function tonight and tomorrow morning and then we'll eventually like go back and see Eve again. So, um, We'll get the backpack then. <laughs> Daisy going off to the journey of water? So inspired by the seas that we're going on Nemo. All right, we did Nemo, we did Moana, we're hanging out with Ben and Carolyn and Carrie Mark and all of our kids. We're gonna do Journey of Into Imagination. And we're only going to be here for like an hour or so because we got to get back to the resort and chase the kids. 
and relax and get ready for tomorrow. One little spark of inspiration. It's Figment! Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. Great idea. We'll go to my open house instead. Now you're talking. I've made my house an innovation. The most beautiful park of all the parks and all the lands. We're leaving though, being responsible. Yes. Sun is going down. We're gonna get some good fuel. Back to the monorail. Oh, I mean, maybe. Have a good day, guys. You too. Thank you. I'm going to the monorail a lot. <laughs> it's fun though. Not complete. All right, we've made it back. We mobile order Captain Cooks, but we're gonna go upstairs to Kona to see if they have any like pre made sushi. Look at this makeshift lantern Peter made. It's working, right? Yeah. We're eating at Captain Cook's. Mom. Here got the meatballs again. Jamesy got some chicken. And I got pulled pork. Teddy's asleep. All right, we're back at the room getting ready. I got my ACS singlet with my dopey bib and my new ACS bib boards. Boys are having the last bit of snackage on dinner. And then we just gotta get ourselves ready for the big day. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>